In this video, we'll discuss non-toxic multinodular goiter. So what's a nodule? Nodule is a palpable swelling or a lump of more than one centimeter in thyroid gland. There is an increased detection of thyroid nodule. What's the cause of that? It's because of ultrasound. On palpation, only 5% of people have thyroid nodules. But on ultrasound examination, 25% have thyroid nodule. Multinodular goiters occur in 12% of adults and is more in women more in elderly and more in iodine deficient areas morphologically it may have hypercellular region to cystic areas filled with colloid uneven accumulation of colloid leads to rupture of follicle hemorrhage scarring calcification fibrosis and nodularity Fibrosis is often extensive, hyperplasia and involution leads to irregular enlargement. CD scan or MRI evaluate the anatomy of goiter and extent of substernal extension. So what's the cause of multinodular non-toxic goiter? Is that polyclonal or monoclonal? Most nodules are polyclonal in origin and suggest a hyperplastic response to locally produced growth factors and cytokines. Monoclonal lesions also occur in non-toxic multinodular goiter reflecting mutation in gene that leads to a specific growth. Long-standing iodine deficiency, endemic goiters eventually converts to multinodular goiters. So what are the clinical manifestations? Most patients are asymptomatic or euthyroid. Large goiter may lead to compressive symptoms and the compressive symptoms are dyspnea, dysphagia and dysphonia. Trachomalacia causes inspiratory steroider. Dyspnea occurs when more than 70% of trachea is obstructed. What test demonstrate esophageal obstruction? Barium swallow. Sudden pain is usually due to hemorrhage but it may also be due to malignancy. Sudden pain and hoarseness also suggest malignancy. So what are the features of non-toxic multinodular goiter on examination? Architecture is distorted. Multiple nodules of varying size are felt. Tracheal deviation is common and esophageal compression. Thyroid function is usually normal. TSH not elevated but is done to exclude subclinical hyper or hypothyroidism. Risk of malignancy in non-toxic multinodular goiter is equal to solitary nodule. So what are the sonographic characters? Just of malignancy, microcalcification, hypoechogenicity, and increased vascularity. What's the treatment of non toxic multinodular There are many treatments. Number one, with L thyroxine to decrease the TSH activity, but disadvantage is that it rarely decreases goiter size, and number two, it may induce thyrotoxicosis. L thyroxine is useful in younger patients to halt the stimulation of thyroid function, but in older patients, it may cause thyrotoxicosis. Second treatment with iodine containing substance that may increase the thyroid hormone production by autonomous nodule so that's the disadvantage number three treatment with radioactive iodine radioactive iodine treatment decreases the goiter size how much by 50 percent in most patients and number two it ablate autonomously functioning nodules and the fourth treatment with surgery is very effective but is not without risk so radioactive iodine treatment and surgery they reduce the goiter size